Good morning. Welcome to a special edition of Turf Talk, uh, Churchill Downs, Kentucky Derby Week. Uh, I'm James Scully here with renowned clocker Gary Young. Uh, three big works this morning, uh, More Spirit for Bob Bafford uh, and Creator and Gunrunner for Steve Asmussen. And Gary, I guess I'll ask you first about More Spirit. You're familiar with the horse uh, from California. What was uh, your take on how he breezed this morning? It was a far above average work for this horse. He, uh, he broke off a length behind uh, his workmate from last week, Jimbo Fallon, and who might be one of the better four-year-old maidens in the country. He's a nice horse. and. Uh, and uh, he eased up alongside him coming to the quarter pole and uh, he worked very well in hand. He went, I think it was 46 and 4 at the wire and he worked down to the 7 eighths pole in 59 and 4 and Gary Stevens was just sitting on him. For a horse that usually doesn't wow you in the morning, it was a good work and I think they made a blinker adjustment. His work last week got him a little bit too keen and they, and they adjusted the blankers this morning and he was he was into the bit this morning but he wasn't pulling like he was in the video of his work last week and uh, he worked well I mean and let's face it uh, you know Mr. Baffert and Mr. Stevens if they if they do win they won't need an usher to show them how to get out yeah. to that infield winner circle they've been there before yes yeah, like seven Kentucky Derby wins between them uh, yeah. I was gonna ask you about Gary Stevens you know last year he was a rider on a firing line it took American Pharaoh to uh, beat him and you know, it seemed like he was like on that horse early and was involved in his training and sort of the same pattern this year with more spirit. He was his, been yes. re his regular rider. Uh, do you think there's any advantage to, uh, you know, him sort of being part of the team? Uh, Gary is a, he's a true horseman. I mean, he, you know, I mean, I remember firsthand when I was here in 94 with Bronco and he was very involved with, with coming out and getting on the horse in the morning. He's, 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 He's part horse at what it basically comes down to, and I think uh, he knows he knows from getting on this horse he knows everything about that horse, and he was pretty adamant and thinking that the you know the blinkers that he had on the other day got him a little too keen and like i said he was he was he was into it this morning, but he certainly wasn't pulling and uh, I mean you know Bob is not con you know as opposed to a lot of trainers nowadays who just kind of go easy before the race. Bob is not uh, adverse to letting one go a little bit and this horse worked, you know, it worked fast this morning but it was a good fast work, it was. And one more question, uh, uh, More Spirit has a low head carriage sway and I think, you know, some racing fans are familiar with AP Indy, you've probably seen a lot of other horses as well uh, as a clocker who, who uh, train and run like that. Uh, is that a potential, is there any disadvantage to that in a 20 horse Kentucky Derby field? No. No, I mean, it, it, I mean, how they, you know, how they handle the kickback is the important thing. Whether how they ha carry their head, I mean, yeah, with a with a heavy-headed horse like that, it, you know, it might, you know, it might tug on Gary's arms and the, or or Eddie D's arms when he rode APND a little bit more. But as far as will it affect their actual performance? No, no, I don't think so. All no. right, and uh, how about the? Let's turn to the uh, Steve Asmussen horses, uh, creator and gun runner. Uh, what were your thoughts first on uh, Gunrunner? You know, he's had a good week galloping here, and his work this morning was your basic Steve Asmussen work before the race. Uh, he he was going easy. He you know he hit the wire, and and when the riders stood up, he had a good gallop out. When he got on the backside, his ears went up as if to say, you know, that was that was a piece of cake for me, and it and it is. I mean, a half yeah. and fifty and change for horses of his caliber. It's it's just a little leg stretcher and. You know, Steve trains, that's how his horses work. I mean, right. it's their last work, they don't, you know, they, they get their work over with early. And Steve's probably, he knows his horses. He's obviously a terrific horseman, and he's trains them of the opinion if they're not fit by now, you know, they're not going to be fit, and the fast work can only hurt you instead of instead of help you so you know he looked fine he looked fine yeah. he did and he's really like you know he's he's a horse that's i think has improved in, in, in every start since he ran here in the kentucky jockey club and they're looking for another forward move perhaps the uh louisiana derby wasn't the toughest field but uh if he could take another step forward i guess he could be right there in the mix he's a good looking horse and you know i mean we're going to find out which of these preps you know were good preps and bad preps on saturday it, you know, obviously, it, it helped him tremendously when Mo Tom got stopped in the Louisiana Derby. Right. But uh, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna find out what 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 preps were good preps and bad preps here pretty soon. And how about uh, Creator? What did you think of his uh, breeze? 
just the same type of breeze. Uh, he he's also a big, good-looking horse. I mean, uh, you know, he's a typical tappet. I mean, mm -hmm. he's 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 you know nice horse, and he also you know he's been galloping in his blinkers all week here, and he also just kind of went down there and. Uh, in a 50 and change work, and I couldn't knock it. I mean, does, did it send chills up my spine? No. Was it meant to send chills up my spine? No. It's just right. keeping him where he's at after his uh, after his win. Yeah, I think one concern is he's had four races already this year. Broke his maiden uh, two starts previously, and only has two stake starts. But does he looks like he's still uh, moving forward? Potentially, oh, he's holding his weight. He does not. I mean, if he was a horse that was had his ribs showing or something like that, it would be a lot more concern uh, concerning that he's had this many races. But he uh, he's holding his weight good, and he looked good. He looked, you know, physically he looks good. Any other uh, thoughts on the Gallopers? There's a uh, Nyquist, uh, Todd Pletcher's horses, Destin and Outwork were on the track. Did any other horses catch your eye this morning? You know, Nyquist just jogged twice around the wrong way. That's not unusual for him. He, you know, he, there are, I've seen him a lot of days in California where he just jogs and look, I mean, he's seven for seven. Whatever mm -hmm. they're doing, it's working with him. I mean, he, uh, He's a horse that obviously doesn't need a lot of training, and you know I liked the video of his work the other day, and he looked good, and and Outwork looked good galloping this morning. He uh, he's a, he's a massive beast, and uh, you know he's he will definitely catch your eye when he's in the paddock on Saturday. He's a good looking horse. How about the Oaks Phillies? Do you see any uh, this morning that uh, you took note of? You know the uh, Lewis Bay was was jo she jogged very nicely and moved was moving well. I liked her work a the other day a lot. And uh, Rachel's Rachel's foal she looked good out there. Um, you know the one that, uh, that we you know it's just a shame that Karina Mee is not going to be able to run in the race because right. of the because of the quarantine that she was in. But uh, she needs she, like three or three or four defections. She's, she's got one. She needs two more. Two more. She needs two more. But uh, when if she doesn't run in the Oaks, where she does run on the undercard, those fillies better get tied on because this filly's acting very good. And it's it's unfortunate for Billy Mott and, and the filly and all the connections that she's pr might, probably not going to make the race because she's, she's training like she means it around here right now. All right. Well, thank you very much, Gary. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, this is uh, Turf Talk. Thank you, James.